Warning! Failure to read, understand, and follow all manufacturer's warnings and instructions constitutes a misuse of this product and could result in serious injury or death. Please note this video is not a replacement for the included tree stand instructions. Always be sure to carefully read, understand, and follow all written directions and warnings before you attempt to use this product or any tree stand. If you do not have the written instructions, contact Summit at 1-800-353-0634 for a complete copy. Watch this video completely. Replay any sections you don't fully understand. You'll be glad you did. If there is anything you do not fully understand and agree to follow, contact Summit at 1-800-353-0634. Warning! Always notify someone of your hunting location in case of an emergency. Warning! When hunting from any tree stand, falls can occur any time after leaving the ground. Any fall can cause serious injury or death. Warning! Do not use this tree stand in high wind conditions that could result in a tip over. Warning! Prior to each use, inspect all leg and ladder sections to ensure the sections are not separated or damaged. Ensure the ground below each of the leg sections is firm and level. The maximum weight limit for the strike pod is 300 pounds. These limits include you plus all clothing and or gear you plan on taking into the stand at any time. Do not exceed this limit. To set up a tripod, it is required to have three to four able adults. Failure to follow all written and video instructions could result in serious injury or death. Warning! Prior to each use, ensure all leg sections are secured together and are not separated. There are no visible signs of corrosion present. There are no cracks in the tubing. There are no cracked or broken weld joints. All leg sections must be anchored to the ground. Discontinue use immediately if any of these items are not present. Learning to use your new tripod stand can make it your most valuable piece of hunting equipment. Please refer to your written instructions for a complete list of parts and hardware included with this stand. Included with your tripod stand are the following parts. It is recommended that all of the bolts be sorted by thread count and length prior to assembly. To assemble this tree stand, you must need some basic tools. Assembly can be made easier with the use of a powered ratchet or a drill with a socket adapter. Take caution not to over tighten the bolts to the point that the tubing is bent. Position the leg base plate and the upper ladder assembly as shown here. Notice that both the angled end of the ladder assembly and the rungs face out. Slide the ladder assembly into the base plate and use one one and three quarter inch long bolt and lock nut to secure as shown. Position the two upper legs as shown here. Slide these legs into the base plate and secure with one one and three quarter inch bolt and lock nut per leg. The seat swivel bolts to the leg base plate from the top. Pivot the swivel so that you have access to the bolt holes. Line up the pivot with the four pre-punched holes in the leg base plate. The correct order for attaching the swivel is one inch bolt, swivel plate, one quarter inch nylon spacer, leg base plate, lock nut. Leave all bolts hand tight until they are started and then wrench tighten. Line up the seat backrest with the seat base as shown here. The seat may differ in appearance. Use two two-inch bolts and lock nuts to secure the seat backrest to the seat base. Run these bolts from the inside out and do not over tighten as this connection is designed to pivot. Position the assembled seat above the seat swivel shown here. 
Bolt the seat to the swivel using four one-inch bolts. Position the front left platform section as shown here. The expanded metal should face up. Line up the holes in it and the two legs. From under the assembly, insert two three and three quarter inch bolts through the tube and into the legs as shown. You may need a helper to hold the platform section in place while it is bolted together. Position the front right platform section next. The expanded metal should face up. Slide the platform section over the bolt from the previous step and line up the other hole. From under the assembly, use a lock nut on the bolt already protruding from the tube. Leave this hand tight for now. Insert a 3 and 3 quarter inch bolt through the other hole as shown. Position the rear platform section here. The expanded metal should face up. Slide the platform section over both bolts inserted previously. Secure using two lock nuts. Go back and wrench tighten all bolts. As you tighten the bolts, the platform sections will pull together. Position one of the platform support tubes under the edge of the platform and four of the support tube clamps as shown here. Slide the clamps on first. There are notches cut out of the expanded metal that allow these clamps to slide all the way onto the platform. The clamps should slide all the way over the platform tubing and the support tube as shown here. Use four 5 16 thread 2 and 3 quarter inch bolts and lock nuts to secure the support tube. Position one of the platform support tubes under the edge of the platform and one support tube clamp as shown here. Slide the clamp over the platform tube. There are notches cut out of the expanded metal that allow the clamp to slide all the way onto the platform. Position two of the shooting rail supports as shown here. Slide these over the platform and platform support tubes. Use three 5 16 thread 2 and 3 quarter inch bolts and lock nuts to secure the support tube. Repeat for the other side. Warning! Do not attempt to attach the shooting rail by climbing onto the platform unless it has been properly staked to the ground following the steps listed later. Line up the two side shooting rail bars with the shooting rail connectors as shown. Slide the smaller side bars into the connectors and line up the holes. Position this assembly as shown here. Secure using one 5 16 thread 2 and 3 quarter inch bolt and lock nut at each joint with the four shooting rail supports. Warning. Always use the supplied stakes to secure this tripod to the ground before use, even if the tripod will be used without a leg extension kit. Failure to secure the tripod may result in instability. Warning! Stakes must be driven completely into the ground at an angle toward the center of the tripod. Insert the stake through the oval-shaped hole at the bottom of each leg as shown. Push or hammer each spike completely into the ground at an angle. Repeat for the other two stakes. Included with your tripod stand are the following parts. It is recommended that all of the bolts be sorted by thread count and length prior to assembly. To assemble this tree stand you must need some basic tools. Assembly can be made easier with the use of a powered ratchet or a drill with a socket adapter. Take caution not to over tighten the bolts to the point that the tubing is bent. Carefully lay the completed top section on its side. Ladder rungs up as shown here. Position one of the coupler plates as shown. Slide the plate over the leg and line up with the holes. Note. Coupler plate must line up with the round holes and not the oval holes. Position one of the brackets as shown. The bracket should be bolted to the coupler plate so that it runs horizontal when the tripod is sitting upright. Use one two and three quarter inch bolt and lock nut to secure both the bracket and the coupler plate. 
Position the 72-inch ladder assembly as shown here. Slide the assembly into the coupler plate and secure with one two and three quarter inch bolt and lock nut. Carefully rotate the tripod assembly to gain access to one of the legs. Slide another coupler plate on the leg and line up the round holes as shown in here. Position one bracket like this and secure using one two and three quarter inch bolt and lock nut. Position one of the 72 inch leg assemblies. The oval pre-punched holes must be at the far end of the leg assembly. These holes are for the spikes included with the top section. Slide the leg assembly into the coupler plate and secure using one two and three quarter inch bolt and lock nut. Rotate the tripod and repeat for the other leg assembly. Locate the pre-punched hole about halfway down the ladder assembly. Position one bracket over this hole from the inside and secure using one two and three quarter inch bolt and lock nut as shown. As before, the bracket should run horizontal to the ground when the tripod is standing up. You must run this bolt from the inside out so that the head of the bolt is sitting on the bracket when tight. Repeat for the other two ladder assemblies as shown. Use one two and three quarter inch bolt and lock nut to secure each bracket. The six cross braces will attach next. Start by positioning one cross brace like this. This brace will bolt to the outside of the two brackets as shown in these two images. Use one one and a half inch bolt and lock nut at each bracket to secure the brace. Run these bolts from the inside out so that the nut is on the outside of the tube. Position one cross brace as shown in here. This brace will bolt to the inside of the two brackets as shown and it will sit on the inside of the brace installed in the step before. Use one one and a half inch bolt and lock nut at each bracket to secure the brace. Run these bolts from the inside out so that the nut is on the outside of the bracket. Walk around to the opposite side of the tripod. Attach one more cross brace to the outside of the bracket and one more cross brace to the inside of the bracket. These two images show the correct placement of braces. Each cross brace should alternate with one brace always bolting to the outside of the bracket and one brace always bolting to the inside. Use one and a half inch bolts and lock nuts at each connection point. Rotate the tripod so that you can bolt up the last two cross braces. These braces attach the same way. Use one and a half inch bolts and lock nuts at each connection point. The finished leg brace setup should look like this. Note that the green cross braces are on the outside and the blue cross braces are on the inside. Notice the tripod can be used as a 10-foot model by not installing the lower legs and lower leg braces. Before doing this, you must view the setup and use guidelines later in this video. The spike supplied with the tripod top, PN81518, must be used. Assembly can be made easier by putting a sturdy 10-inch to 12-inch support under the platform while it is lying down. Position a coupler plate and a 72-inch leg assembly as shown here. The oval pre-punched holes must be on the far end of the 72-inch leg assembly. Line up a bracket with the upper bolt hole on the inside of the coupler plate. The bracket must attach as before, horizontal to the ground when the tripod is standing. Use two 2 and 3 quarter inch bolts with lock nuts to secure the coupler plate, bracket, and 72-inch leg assembly. Repeat these three steps for the opposite leg. Locate the pre-punched hole a little further than halfway down the leg assembly. Position one bracket over this hole from the inside and secure using one two and three quarter inch bolt and lock nut as shown. You must run this bolt from the inside out so that the head of the bolt is sitting on the bracket when tight. As before, the bracket should run horizontal to the ground when the tripod is standing up. Use a helper and carefully rotate the tripod assembly to gain access to the ladder side. Repeat these steps for the 72 inch ladder assembly. Locate the pre-punched hole a little further than halfway down the 72 inch ladder assembly.
Position one bracket over this hole from the inside and secure using one two and three quarter inch bolt and lock nut as shown here. You must run this bolt from the inside out so that the head of the bolt is sitting on the bracket when tight. As before, the bracket should run horizontal to the ground when the tripod is standing up. Next, assemble the six lower cross braces. First position the lower cross brace A and the lower cross brace B as shown here. Please note the correct way the lower cross braces are assembled as shown in this image. Slide the lower cross brace B into the lower cross brace A and line up the bolt hole. The two ends that slide together must be ends with the pre-punched holes that are two inches from the end of the brace. Secure using one one and a half inch bolt and lock nut as shown. Repeat for the other five braces. Caution! Brace attachment must be completed before attempting to stand the tripod up. The six lower cross braces will be attached next. These lower cross braces attach in the same manner as the upper cross braces. In the instruction diagrams, green braces attach to the outside of the brackets and blue braces attach to the inside. Start by positioning two lower cross braces as shown here. This brace will bolt to the outside of the two brackets and the other brace will bolt to the inside of the bracket. Use one and a half inch bolts and lock nuts at each bracket to secure the braces. Due to the size of the tripod base, you will have to rotate it in order to attach the next set of braces. Attach two more lower cross braces as shown. Use one and a half inch bolts and lock nuts at each bracket to secure the braces. Rotate the tripod one more time and attach the last two lower cross braces. Use one and a half inch bolts and lock nuts at each bracket to secure the braces. The finished lower cross brace setup should look like this. Note that the green lower cross braces are on the outside and the blue lower cross braces are on the inside. Once you have finished assembling your Summit tripod stand, it is time to set the stand upright. Warning! Prior to each use, inspect all leg and ladder sections to ensure the sections are not separated or damaged. Ensure the ground below each of the leg sections is firm and level. First, find a suitable area to set your tripod up. This area should have ground that is firm and level, free of sloping ground or uneven surfaces. If you set your tripod on sloping or uneven surfaces, it will cause instability to your stand, causing your tripod to tilt or shift as you ascend and descend. Once you have found desirable ground, lay the assembled tripod on its side with climbing rungs facing up. Your foot platform should rest on a box or table that is capable of holding the weight of the tripod. This step will prevent unnecessary stress on the leg sections and cross braces. Note, sturdy box is not included with tripod purchase. At the bottom of the wired column that has the climbing rungs, tie off a 15-foot heavy-duty rope or strap with a sewn looped end at the bottom. Note, rope or strap for setup is not included with the stand. Now you are ready to raise your tripod using four able adults. One adult should be positioned at the platform, two should be on each leg column, and the final helper should be holding the rope or strap tied to the third column with the climbing rungs. Once you have everyone in place, pull on the rope or strap while the other helpers lift up on the legs and the platform. Use slow and precise movements as you slowly walk the tripod into position. Before you place your stakes in the ground, make sure the platform is level. Warning! Do not let the unit slam into the ground. This will damage the tripod. Warning! All tripods must be anchored to the ground by means of ground stakes. It is advisable to purchase additional means of securing the tripod to the ground, such as ground anchors and straps if the area is subject to possible flooding or in an area of suspected high winds. 
After the tripod is upright and the platform is level, insert the ground stakes through the hole at the bottom of each column pole. The stake should be driven into the ground at an angle, as shown. Warning! Do not climb the tripod without the ground stake secured into each leg section. Now that you have your tripod secured into the ground with stakes, you are ready to begin hunting. Remember as you climb to maintain three points of contact at all times. Also, never climb with anything on your back. Pull your weapon unloaded up using a rope once you have safely reached the platform height and are seated. When you are ready to remove your tripod stand, First, remove the ground stakes and attach the rope or strap to the bottom wire column that has the climbing rungs. Once the rope or strap is attached, you are ready to lower the tripod to the ground. Position two people on the leg columns without the rope attached and one person on the leg column holding the rope. The final person should be near where the platform will be once it has been tilted to the ground. With the one person holding firmly to the rope, the other two adults lift on each ladder section and begin to tip the tripod back. Using slow and precise movements, Carefully let the tilted tripod down, while slowly letting the rope out. When the tripod is close enough to the ground, the fourth person will help set the tripod on a box or table capable of holding the weight of the tripod. Warning! Do not let the unit slam onto the ground. This will damage the tripod. Before each use, look for nicks, gouges, cuts, cracks, bends, corrosion, or similar damage that can be the result of improper use or accidental damage. For instance, this could occur if someone else used the tripod without knowledge of its proper use, or if the tripod were dropped, hit by a motor vehicle, or subject to corrosive conditions, etc. Summit tree stands have the highest structural integrity by design, material selection, and manufacturing techniques. But as the owner, only your continued maintenance and care will assure trouble-free performance. By following the next few maintenance and care tips, you can extend the life of your stand. Summit foam seats are removable, so we recommend it is stored in a dry place when not in use. It is also important to replace your seat every two years or sooner if you discover damage or wear. If touch-up is required on the factory paint, use a high-quality outdoor spray paint to cover any bare metal areas that might develop over time. When moving your summit tree stand, packing it away, or placing it in your vehicle, make sure it is securely tied down and no other objects can slide onto it or hit it. Thank you for taking the time to read, watch, and understand the instructions for your Summit product. Knowing how to use your full body fall arrest harness system and tree stand can be the difference between life and death. Remember, a successful hunt means taking the time to inspect your full body fall arrest harness system and tree stand before each use, as well as properly wearing your full body fall arrest harness system and properly using your tree stand. It is important to never hunt without telling someone your location. Enjoy using your Summit product.